All right, this is what I've been working on for the past few days. A little bit here and there. I have suspension. Got one more pivot point to finish. Figure out exactly how I'm going to install that. This is my shock mock-up. The overall length eye to eye is right here at the ends. Uh, originally I was going to go with a 14 inch shock, but this is suspension at full droop right now. Put a mount point at about this point. I think a 12 inch is going to be more like what I need. That's full droop. That's full compression. Ride height. This is about the same size as the coilovers that I'm going to use from Speedway. Same diameter. It's about an eighth of an inch. Both sides smaller, but was handy, easy to use. Um, this is going to be my lower shock mount down here. I have to build an upper shock mount still. And like I said, put some stops in it. One side of the front suspension mostly completed. Got front suspension. Yeah, 80% complete on one side. Still got to put in one more inner pivot point. Got enough clearance, I believe. Enough turn radius. Using the stock lower control arm outer end and uh, building the shock mount for my coilover shock out of this. Okay, in case you're wondering how you do all this stuff, well this is how you start. You figure out where your top bracket's going to be. Uh, figure that out by measuring the height of the car, the brackets, at ride height in the bureau that I took it out of. Then you just make a stand, I guess you call it. Once you measure the height that the spindle's got to be when there's a wheel on it, make a stand that gives you that height. I use this stand on the other side. I'll move this to the right side so it holds the where the tie rod end mounts at the right height. That way it'll hold my angle on this, which I've looked on the internet for a uh, Fiero is about five degrees, but that'd be adjustable once I'm done, so five degrees is pretty close. Then you make one of those. Pop that into it. Set it all up. Upper ball joint. figure by now I'd be really good at putting these together after doing it dozens of times. <laughs> 